Greetings, my friends. We are back at it again. Hopefully by the time this video comes out, it's Sunday. I like to do on Sunday, we're gonna do, start doing more double features or triple features. You know, sometimes I don't feel like doing two different videos, especially when it's a, something like this. We got the new X-Men uh, 97s. We got the Wolverine and the Magneto. And these are probably the only figures I'm gonna be getting from this wave. I already have uh, I already have a Wolverine, but I wanted this one for the new claws and the new body mold. So I think that would be very nice. And I got the new Magneto because I don't really have a Magneto. I have the a uh, custom one that I made. It was um, the Age of Apocalypse, but I turned it into a um, regular Magneto. But this will be my new classic Magneto. Um, here's the back of the box. We don't, we only got these two. We're not going to get that Storm. We're not going to get that Rogue. We're not going to get the Bishop and we're not going to get Gambit. Um, yeah, but let's go ahead and just crack these bad boys open. We don't, you know, we don't need to waste a lot of your time. You're already here watching my video. I appreciate you. Why don't you go ahead and leave a like down there? Make a, leave a comment. What, are you going to pick up the whole wave or are you just going to get these two? Or are you just going to get Magneto? I know a lot of people need a Magneto because all the Magnetos that exist are really expensive. So, this is a nice way to get one, you know, without spending a whole lot of money. Let's just, let's get into it. Let's get into it. All right. So we're just going to do all the accessories right now for both of them. So Magneto only comes with a pair of red fists. So yeah, there's that. $27 right there. And then we got the extra hands for the Wolverine. Um, you can see a little detail on the wrist where the, the claws come out. You know, in the movies, they come, I, I you know, I'm... I always forget that the in the movies they come between his fingers because you think that you think that would make more sense. They actually come out of the, the claws come out of the top of his hands. It's kind of crazy. I always forget. Then he's got the hood. We've seen this before. The unmasked hood. We've seen this with a couple of figures already. So that's very cool to have. And then we have the masked version. This is the version that comes not on the figure. I do like the bat wings on this version a lot more than the Age of. I think it was Age of Apocalypse or something like that. But here's all the accessories right here. Take a good long look. There it is. We'll go ahead and take a look at the Wolverine first. Let me just adjust the camera so I can pick him up. Yeah, so here is the head sculpt on my boy. He looks pretty good. I like what they did with him. He looks just like the cartoon. He looks all angry and Canadian. Not a lot of detail in the hair wall other than the sculpting detail. There's no paint detail. Now, boy must be up at the crack of dawn to gel his hair. I like the way they did the um, the claws too. I like that they didn't do the pull out claws that they used to. I like the new style of, and I like how they're kind of rounded more like the cartoon. Very nice. Nice and uh, spread out perfectly. Yeah, the line work on him is pretty good. A lot of the figures I noticed though, even when I was picking up mine, had a lot of uh, defects in the paint right here, especially on these black areas. So I tried to grab the one with the least amount of defects, but it wasn't enough. I might have to hit it up with some of my own paint. The belt looks really nice. They gave him his little underwear. Now it actually goes right here instead of just in the crotch area. His boots look good. I like the color yellow they're using. The colors that they use on these new figures are pretty good, but it doesn't really match with some of the older X-Men figs. You're going to have to get like all the new yellow stuff because they made the yellow a lot brighter. If you look at the... Um, the older Wolverine that um, I think it was the Omega Red Wave or Apocalypse Wave that um, he's like a darker yellow and same with that Cyclops the Jim Lee Cyclops the original one for the Hasbro that one's also like a orangish yellow and these new ones are really bright yellow but that's pretty much the whole fig um, yeah since I have you here let's do the old articulation he looks up about that much looks down side to side so what do you guys think of these figures so far like I'm I'm okay with them. I got the butterfly joint too that goes in and out. You know, I wasn't really like the... No! Sorry, someone was asking me if I was in the bathroom. Yeah, I'm not really too... I didn't really need these ones. I like the sculpted detail on the hair though. That was pretty nice. Um, but yeah. What am I doing? Fuck, somebody asked. Sorry, I'm Bicep swivel on. Slowly around. Double joint elbows. Rotation at the wrist. Yeah, these figures aren't too um, crazy. Oh man, this ab crunch kind of sucks. Forward. Waist articulation. Not really needed, but you know, it is, I believe, the 60th anniversary of these guys or something like that. 80 something. Long time since these guys have been around, so of course they're going to be giving us the same crap that we've been having for a while. 
Hope you guys kept up with all the articulation. That's all we're getting. Man, freaking grandma over here. Grand, grandma playing with kids and shit. All right, and now we have Magnetus. And I'm having a hard time standing him right now. I don't know if it's just my figure, but the ankles are really bad on mine. They're like choppy, like hard to move. Let's go ahead and get a look at the face. Pretty nice little face. You can see a little shadowing above the eyes, but you can still see the white eyebrows and the blue eyes inside of it. I love the detail on the helmet. They did a really good job on that. It's got the nice metallic, uh, like, like I don't know what you call it, trim, trim work, really nice. His cape is nice and flowy, all big, just like the old one from the uh, the three pack with uh, Squirk Silver and uh, Scarlet Witch. Like his arms right here, he's got the pinless, the arms right here, nice little purple gauntlets still see some paint coming through on the purple yeah this wave feels a little cheap i don't know what they're doing to make these figures anymore i thought i heard something about um 3d printing and it does feel like they are being 3d printed they don't feel i don't know i feel like the quality is kind of going down at least for marvel legends i'm not hating on it per se i i still like this figure i like both of these figures don't get me wrong but um yeah it just feels like they're um the quality of the plastic might be getting cheaper or maybe I'm just, maybe I just don't know what good plastic is. And you know, I'm not, I'm just a guy who plays with toys. Since I have you here, let's look up. He looks down, looks side to side, of course. Yeah, there's not really a lot of detail on these figures. Um, that's what I'm saying, like, why are they 25 bucks? Like, if you're gonna give us a retro carded figure with barely anything inside of it, like at least, you know, make it 20 bucks. You're not giving us a build a figure here. You're just giving us some figures. And this guy only comes with just his hands. He doesn't even come with any, like, power effects. He doesn't come with any purple effects to show off his uh, powers. Even Wolverine came with an extra head and the unmasked, you know? I think Bishop only comes with a gun, and I think everyone else just comes with a pair of hands. I think Gambit comes with the most stuff with the staff and the card, but other than that, like, it's, you know, really? Really? That's pretty much it for this figure. I just did the whole articulation segment in front of you. Let's go ahead and do some size comparison. And I don't really have a lot of X-Men, so here's pretty much all my X-Men figures I have. I have, uh... oh, excuse me, I almost burped. I got Storm, these are all retro cards, except for Gambit, I think, think is, oh, and him, but um, this is a retro card Storm, retro card Rogue. Um, I think that's, I don't even know what wave that is, Apocalypse. And then we got the um, Gambit from, I think the same wave, the Apocalypse wave. Not a bad wave. Got a couple got a couple of big boys. We got a Colossus and Beast retro carded and this is part of the Colossus Juggernaut 2 pack. Yeah, looking real uh, real sick. All right, and here we have some bad guy mutants because, you know, we can always use some bad guys while uh while having X-Men. I don't know what I'm saying right now. And then we got a few more bad guys here. We got Scarlet Witch, Sabretooth, and Lady Deathstrike. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. This is the retro carded. That's from the Zem New Wave, and that's from, I think, earlier this year. Maybe last year, actually. I forget. And then, of course, we had to get a couple of the Chonk Boys. We got the Chonkster, and then the Chonkster. You know what I'm saying? I'm the Juggernaut, bitch. And then wanted to show off the old figures I was working with. Let's see, I made this custom. It's not really that crazy. I just cut the hair off of him and then put the morph cape on him. And then I personally like this Wolverine better. I don't know if it's because I've had it for a long time, but I like the colors on him. The metallic blue on the shoulders looks really good. Just the, the colors in general just just stand out to me a lot more. I'm, these are kind of like pastel -y almost, like very, very vibrant and bright. I don't know. It's not bad though. I, I like them both. I think this one will probably be the new one on my shelf. I'll probably figure out something to do with him. I don't know. Or maybe I'll just... Keep him off the show. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure it out. Okay, real quick. Final thoughts on these guys. Um, I think the Magneto, definitely a must cop. I mean, 27 bucks. It's kind of mid, but you know what? It's a classic Magneto and it'll work for your comic book shelf. Wolverine, you don't really need it. Because we get Wolverines like every goddamn year. It feels like this is just another Wolverine that we've technically had. It's a new colorway, new sculpted underwear. That's about it. 
So this, probably wouldn't get it again. Probably wouldn't recommend getting it if you already have one. But if you don't have a classic Wolverine, boom, this is not bad. This is actually great. Pretty solid figure. There's nothing wrong with it at all. This right here, on the other hand, I wish it came with more accessories. I wish that, um, you know, they gave him a boot cut. I wish they did a couple things. I wish the paint wasn't so cheap on both of them. It just looks like they and left a bunch. They only did like one coat, pretty much what I'm about to say. And uh, yeah, I mean, they're cool. I would go get them if you don't have any of these guys. Now's the time. X-Men is, is popping right now. It's the year of the X-Men. So yeah, go out and get one. Sorry, guys, this feels rushed. I really have to go to work right now. I've been lollygagging. Some guy just called me on the phone, told me I owed them fucking $400 for something that I don't even remember from four years ago. So yeah, I'm a little frustrated. So I have to go. I'll see you in the next one. Um, cop? Possibly drop. You know what I'm saying? This is the one to get. This is the only figure of the wave I'm going to get. Well, these two are the only figures of this wave I'm going to get. I'd rather get a different bishop, and I'd rather get... I already, have a, I already have a Storm, I already have a Rogue, and I already have Gambit. So those, I don't need them. I don't care about completing the set. I just want a Magneto. And I saw Wolverine, and I was like, you know what? We'll get him too. Just so we have an extra one. But other than that, I gotta go. You guys take care. Love you all. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what how you guys feel about these guys. Let me like tell me how you guys feel about the plastic on these. Do you guys feel like they're it's cheaper or is it getting better? I, I don't understand what's going on, but I feel like it's getting cheap. But okay, okay, okay. I gotta go. Bye 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 bye. bye.